Running Back Nation, what is good? It is your boy DJ Swood, Running Back Philly. No frauds, no fanboys, no intros. This is the first iteration of the 76ers film breakdown that I'm going to be doing after every single 76ers game. This is just the Joel Embiid breakdown. Uh, we're going to focus on his defense, his rebounding, and his assists because we know he can score. He put up 33-10 and 10 last night. DeAndre Ayton is his stepchild. We already know that. But the more important thing, not more important, we need him to score, obviously, uh, but uh, a very important thing that he did in this game that I don't feel like he was doing in the beginning of the season is his effort on the uh, defensive end of the floor, his effort and uh, focus or uh, attention to detail when it comes to fundamentals and rebounding and boxing out and keeping plays alive. Uh, and his assists in this game. He had seven offensive rebounds in this game, so I want to break down some of those. Uh, that will be on YouTube. The uh, Paul Reed breakdown, what he brings to the game in his 11 minutes in this game. Uh, I really want to break down. I really want to focus on what he does defensively and uh, what he really brings to the game that doesn't show up in the box score. And DeAnthony Melton also, I want to break that down. What he does for the game that doesn't show up in the box score. Also, Tobias Harris and some other things. We're going to show you the full breakdown. If you want all of those, Paul Reed, DeAnthony Melton, Tobias Harris, and the full breakdown, that is on patreon.com slash philly, And we will be breaking down uh, every single game after every single 76ers night, uh, the day after every game, we will be breaking those down on patreon.com slash run it back Philly. Thank you to everybody that joins, but just for YouTube for free, here's the Joel Embiid breakdown. And again, we're going to focus on his defense, his assists and his rebounding a lot. We're going to focus a lot on his rebounding, uh, because I think it's just very important for this team. So here's his first offensive rebound. Uh, you're going to see he gets doubled right here at the top. He's going to kick it back to Tobias Harris, who's going to drive and shoot a jumper. But Joel Embiid on this play, you know, he sees uh, he sees Mikel Bridges step up here. He reads it. He flashes under the rim. Um, and then he sees Tobias Harris is pulling a jump shot, and he immediately finds his man, boxes out, and gets a hand on the ball and keeps the play alive. Um, that's just a sheer effort from Joel Embiid, and that's exactly what this team needs. You see he's got the whole team boxed out right here. DeAndre Ayton's just hanging out on the outside because that's how he plays basketball. Chris Paul's on the left side. What's he really going to do? But Joel Embiid boxes out everybody, keeps his play alive, and there's a lot, a lot of times at the beginning of the season you didn't see things like that from Joel Embiid. So that's a great sign. It's a great sign. Now, this is the same exact play. Joel Embiid actually had three offensive rebounds in less than a minute. Uh, this is the same exact play. He keeps that play alive. Melton kicks it over to Maxi. Maxi is going to drive baseline. And you see Joel right there in the paint. And again, attention to detail. A lot of times you'll catch him just lingering. Sometimes he'll pop out to this three-point line and just kind of sit there. Uh, but this game, you know, he's really paying attention. He's really focused. And he was really uh, uh, locked in. And here he watches Maxi drive baseline. He calls for the ball right here at first. Um... But then he sees Maxi going for a layup, and he immediately crashes for the offensive rebound, gets the offensive rebound, and puts it back. Joel Embiid was really, really focused on rebounding in this game, and it really shows in the film. And uh, this is a massive offensive rebound that I remember seeing live, and I wanted to show here. You see Bang Bang Niang catches the ball there wide open. He had seven threes in this game. This is his one miss from three or he had three misses, he was seven for ten, but one of his few misses from three. But you see Joel Embiid right there in the middle of the floor. He already sees Niang catch the ball, and he immediately focuses on the fine details of rebounding. He goes right to Bridges, seals him. I was kind of calling for the ball there, actually, now that I now that I look at that back. Uh, but right when he sees that Niang is not passing him the ball, he is shooting the ball, he boxes out Bridges, and the effort here is what I'm talking about. A lot of times he would be lazy here, barely get off the ground, kind of put one arm up. But this game was totally different. I mean, that is just that is just sheer effort from Joel Embiid. Uh, two feet off the ground, two hands right into Damian Lee, who <laughs> hated him in this game and hated Tobias Harris. But this is incredible effort from Joel Embiid, and this is what this team needs to get out of the bottom tier in the NBA as far as rebounding goes. Joel Embiid also had five assists in this game, contributing to the Philadelphia 76ers victory last night. Uh, and I love this play right here because, you know, Joel plays on the perimeter a lot for a big man, but um, if he can continue to develop the uh, passing ability that he shows on this play, 
then it's not necessarily a negative thing for him to be out there. So you're going to see Tobias kick it back to Embiid, and Embiid reads Tobias, Tobias cuts, Embiid hits him on the money. A, dare I say, Nikola Jokic type of assist right here. You see Harris decoy bridges right there, and he's going to cut to the basket, and Embiid's just watching him the whole time. Like a quarterback. Bang. That's a beautiful play by Joel Embiid. <laughs> Joel Embiid had three assists in the fourth quarter, all for George Niang uh, three-pointers because George Niang was uh, not a Walmart Clay Thompson last night. He was Clay Thompson Clay Thompson last night. Uh, and you're going to see a nice one from Joel Embiid right here. Uh, George Niang is going to come into your frame right there on the right side at the top of the key, and Devin Booker is guarding him. And what uh, what Niang is going to do is he's going to set a fake pin down screen on uh, DeAnthony Melton's man right here, and then just pop out to the three point line in the corner. Uh, Joel Embiid from Melton right there catches the ball on the wing. Here's Niang setting a decoy kind of fake slide off uh, pin down screen. Doesn't actually screen bridges there but he gives the illusion that he is. And so Devin Booker is anticipating possibly a switch of Melton coming outside around Joel Embiid or under the basket. So that this decoy screen right here leaves Devin Booker kind of uh, lacking there, hanging out in the paint uh, a split second behind. Joel Embiid notices that, kicks it over to Niang in the corner. Bang, bang, George Niang. This is an impressive one from Joel Embiid, another assist in the fourth quarter. He pulls up a shot over Bismack Biombo, but while he's in the air, he feels Mikel Bridges double him, and he kicks it out to George Niang. This is uh, a really impressive pass right here for Joel Embiid. Here's the jumper. He could shoot that jumper. He usually does shoot that jumper. He shoots that jumper a lot. He notices as he goes up for the shot, Bridges comes over to double, which is odd, really, uh, with his on fire as George Niang was. So Embiid... In shooting form, realizes Niang is open, does the old double tap square button, and passes out of a shot to George Niang for three. Bang, bang, George Niang. Here's a nice defensive effort from Joel Embiid. And, you know, the beginning of the season, we were talking a lot about his <clears throat> lack of effort defensively, uh, especially at the rim. We were giving up 76% at the rim, which was astronomically bad. Uh, here's a play where. You know, he does a good job on the pick and roll with uh, Chris Paul and DeAndre Ayton. He they stays stop. he stays on uh, Ayton, but he watches Paul the whole time. And, you know, right... Maxi plays good defense on this play, too. But here's Joel, and he seals Ayton. And a lot of times, Joel would simply seal Ayton right here and wait for the offensive rebound. But in this game, he was focused on the fine details again. And here you see him on Ayton, but watching Paul the entire time. And when he sees his opportunity, he pops out and defends the layup from Chris Paul, who then tries to emergency pass to Aiton under the basket, and Embiid gets a hand on it, knocks it off of Paul, out of bounds. Great defensive play from Joel Embiid. Another great example of Joel Embiid giving defensive effort and helping off ball right here. Uh, you know, another pick and roll. He stays on Aiton, um, and he really plays the middle. He really plays it well where... You know, he's not stepping up too far to leave Aiton open for the alley-oop, but he's, but he's in position to make a play on the ball at the same time. This is great pick-and-roll defense from Joel Embiid, and this is what this team needs. Uh, dribble handoff um, to Mikel Bridges. Aiton rolls. Embiid plays the middle. Again, doesn't step up too far for the Aiton lob. Uh, stays right in the perfect position. Realizes Bridges is going to try to lay this thing in, and he says, get that weak sauce out of here. Don't bring that juice to a gin party. It's a block party in the hood. Video not available. Joke's on you, bro. Um, yeah. Here's one more example of Joel Embiid helping off the ball and playing great defense in the paint. We're up by 16 points here, and, you know, he still doesn't uh he doesn't quit he doesn't kind of slow down and stop trying uh bridges catches the ball here on the wing tobias harris plays atrocious defense right there and lets him drive right past him joel Embiid helps weak side and he doesn't block this shot but he forces bridges to shoot the ball higher off the glass forcing him to miss this shot uh you know that's the effort that we need from joel Embiid in the paint um if he can keep this up, you know, we can, again, get out of the bottom of the NBA as far as paint defense, rebounding, and things like that. Uh, so shout out to Joel Embiid last night 
for what he gave to the team, even outside of his scoring defensively, rebounding, assists, things like that. He really affected the game positively. That is the Joel Embiid breakdown for YouTube. Thank you for tuning in. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you're brand new. The full breakdown, we're going to go over Paul Reed, what he brought to the game in his 11 minutes, how he affected the game and helped the Sixers get a win. We're going to go over some Matisse Thibel plays, some DeAnthony Melton plays, Tyrese Maxey, P.J. Tucker, and more. All of that is on patreon.com slash runitbackphilly. Thank you all for tuning in.